Good morning and welcome back this morning. We have a new face, but a familiar face joining us here on Fox News First, Councilwoman Shirley Gonzalez of District 5, more so kind of on the west side of town, so many of you familiar with that, and I appreciate you joining us today. Yes, good morning. Thank Thanks. you so much for having me. Well, you are on top of homelessness and a lot of the things that are very pressing in San Antonio, but homelessness is very close to your heart and something you really wanted to address today. Well, we had a meeting last night at Haven for Hope. Uh, about what seems to have been an increase in homelessness in our neighborhoods, especially there on the near west side. So we got together with our new CEO at Haven for Hope, Kenny Wilson, and our chief of police and his staff there, uh, his safe staff, uh, and of course my city staff, uh, to see what we could do to resolve what is a continuing problem but what also seems to be on the rise. Well, and a lot of cities face this, but with homelessness in our area, specifically when I moved here four or five years ago, I noticed that there's a lot of programs in San Antonio really trying to help people out there who may be struggling with this. And we have a model program here in San Antonio at Haven for Hope. We have cities all over the country coming to San Antonio to see how we do it and how what our model is like. Now we still have a long way to go but one of the programs that I wanted to highlight this morning that happens at Haven for Hope is the Ambassadors Program and it's a group of volunteers that are there at Haven and they go out into the community uh, per request and perform things like home improvement plans. They do house painting. They can pick up trash. They can pick up uh, areas where there's been excessive dumping. And so it is a, a wonderful program uh, that helps not only employ the people who live there, uh, but it also helps the surrounding community. What about for those people who may be on the brink of homelessness? They're not on the streets yet, but I've seen huge initiatives like the Food Bank here in San Antonio really trying to be a great asset and resource to those people. Are there any other resources like that that also target those who may not be homeless yet, but maybe on the brink of that? So there is a program specifically with the Department of Human Services that's called the Rapid Housing Program. And there's funding specifically for those people who may just need a little help uh, so that they can pay the rent and so that they can get through uh, a couple of months period. In the meanwhile, they also get assistance with childcare and they can get assistance uh, with um, uh, financial things and, and other things, services that they may need. They may be so there is uh, lots of resources right there at Haven for Hope. We, you, uh, anybody can also contact uh, my field offices at Las Palmas and at Collins Gardens, uh, and of course at City Hall, uh, and also through SanAntonio.gov because we have an incredible amount of resources. We need to just make sure that the people who need those services are getting connected sure. to the place where they're available. Well, where there's a will, it seems that there is a way. Uh, one of the things I also want to talk about is what the city is directly doing for this. Are they? What initiatives are they working through? Well, all at, at Haven for Hope, there they're are working through Haven for Hope. Right, okay. uh, about 72 partner agencies, okay. and they're nonprofits that help with everything from child care to uh, to uh, uh, getting clothing for people sure. um, and also for training purposes. Okay. But San, the, uh, San Antonio also has um, some back to work programs. We have lots of mentoring programs where we're training people for new skills. And we can do all that at Haven for Hope. And it's Excellent. a wonderful resource. Uh, we just need to make sure that the people who are ready and willing to transform their lives know that Haven for Hope is a place for them. And that was important. You keyed in on the job skills so that they have a way of learning how to make an income for themselves and make it sustainable. So we super appreciate you joining us here today. Thank and you. of course, homelessness is always a pressing issue, so I'm sure there'll be more advances on this to come. Thank you so much for having me. Right. Thanks, Shirley. Well, stay tuned because still to come, the one reason people are not heading to the polls for the upcoming election, plus caught on camera.